I know one is an eye and one is a wood. The swing plane will seem different, but if we basically take, we get straight on that, wouldn't it? We take these in context with just the normal shaft. That one there, and that one there. So with your driver, as that club goes back, bit behind here is yeah. the back of your left part, back of your left glove hand, just yeah. pointing up to the sky. At this point, now that club's horizontal, uh, is yeah. horizontal, yeah? So that is very, very flat. And then when your hands go up here, that club now, as we said, is way underneath and pointing out yeah. out to the screen where this one is a club, as a club goes back. Your left wrist is pointing more to the wall. And yeah. now you're standing a little bit steeper, yeah? yeah? And your shoulder angle when you're rotating is a little bit steeper. So the club now, when you get to the top of the backswing, is just underneath playing. This one here now, when you get going back, you're sort of a bit lower behind with your right hand. And then the clubs across the line with you trying to get that club up and up and up. So as you come back over the top, because you haven't been pulled behind you and too far behind in terms of that depth of the arms, as you come back to the ball there now, at this point, back of your left hand now, it's kind of trying to square that club face up, come out to the line, catch a bit toey, ball starts right at target and then just sort of starts right and disappears. And again, the release of that club is just, I mean, even though it's a fairly good release of the club here, you sort of, yeah. you're starting to get back on a reasonable spot. You've just gone so far back behind you that you aren't able to get back in target. So when you finish, the, the follow through looks a little bit out of control there. Ball leaking out to the right hand side and then just drifting off further right, as we said. And that's your bad one with the driver. Yeah. I think I see a lot more. And then your reaction to that is just to try and pull it left and you just yeah. snipe it or fat it or whatever. Okay? At least this one here now when the club's coming back down, you're kind of more on plane there. As you're coming back down, the club's what we call more in front of you. A lot of you have that club to work towards target and you can release through in a bit more of a kind of balanced finish, okay? Yeah. I think your tendencies are with the longer clubs and it's easy to do it with the longer club because you're further from the ball and get yeah. more upright. So the club's going to want to go back inside, but from here, that there now, I mean, it's just, it's just too far behind yeah. you. You compare that to sort of similar position there. Yeah. Clubs up here, whereas that one is just like ugh, yeah. way behind you, yeah. And again, your shoulders are slightly it might be something we'll look at a bit more through the winter when you're not playing as much, obviously. Yeah. But getting your body, and I'll show you a clip in a second, of how one of the sort of constants that tour players do is their shoulders are a little bit steeper than that on the way back. They've actually got numbers between like fifty one degrees on the way back, forty one on the way through. And they're all within like one degree of each other, even <laughs> Furick. Their arms do different things, but their body turns and rotates yeah. on this axis. So getting that club there, you can see the shoulders there, they're a little bit steeper. Now, they will be with the iron, obviously, because you're yeah. on the ball more. But if your arms are getting too far behind you, you're just going to really struggle, especially yeah. with a longer club. And that's where the toey one's coming from. Yeah. You, you, you sort of you straighten up here, the club, get, and now it's like, oh, Craig, get back to that golf ball. Whoop. And doing so, mm. your arms pull left and you get that grip hanging on. So yeah. getting yourself with that club more in front of you. You felt a lifting of the club. When we said that, it's a lifting of the club head, yeah, not a lift. So when you're here now, when you get to this foot halfway back here now, the club is going up, which then your arms then follow up with that. It's yeah. not just lift your arms. Up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mate. Good yeah. stuff. Right, have a couple more with that driver. And then we'll see if we can get those arms working. And we just again, I'll show you kind of where I want to get you to. Probably more to the winter now, but. Yeah. finish off the season with this movement now we can be more aware of that club face on the way back just in terms of plane and getting a bit more kind of down the line there good yeah.